Hi, B&J students. So let's read another diary story. This one is called A Surprise on My Mother's Birthday. So it's my mother's birthday. Look at the balloons and look at the confetti. She is so surprised and excited. So let's read through and you will learn some new expressions and some other ways to say things as well. So let's begin. Since I live far away from my parents, I never see them on their birthdays. So far away from means not near, not near, right? Far away from, so it means really far. This year I decided to do something different. I thought that I would surprise my mother on her birthday. So I bought a plane ticket to come visit. I told my father my plan and he thought it was a wonderful idea. He swore that he wouldn't tell my mother. Swore. Swore. So we know that from swear. Swore. Sworn. Swear, swore, sworn. It means, so he swore means that he said, he said pro, like a promise, like a promise that he wouldn't say anything. It's more intense than a promise. That he wouldn't tell my mother, I was skeptical because I didn't know that he is not good at keeping secrets. So we keep secrets means to not tell a secret, not tell a secret. So keep secrets keep secrets and skeptical be skeptical means uncertain or not sure questioning I finally arrived and took a taxi to my parents house my father made sure that my mom wouldn't be home when I arrived so he took her out for a birthday lunch from what I could tell, my father hadn't revealed the surprise. From what I could tell, from what I could tell is a great expression. My father hadn't revealed the surprise to revealed, revealed means to show, show. I made myself comfortable and waited for their return to the house. They finally pulled up in the car. So pull up means to drive up. Pull up in a car. I positioned myself to surprise my mother when she came in the door. I made sure not to scare her. She came through the door and saw me sitting on a chair. She was so surprised to see me that she started crying. She never expected that I would visit her on her birthday. I was so pleased to see her so happy on her birthday. I hope it's a birthday that she never forgets. Ah, how sweet. Okay, so let's use some of these expressions. Far away from, far away from. I live far away from China. I live far away from China. I want to be far away from you. I want to be far away from you. I live far away in China. Swore, swore. So it's like a very it's like a promise. So we have swear Swear, I swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the. I swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. 
I swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So to swear is like is promise, a very serious promise. And people say this before they when they are in a courtroom, when they are in a courtroom as a witness. Okay. And what's next? Skeptical, skeptical. Skeptical kind of means uncertain. Questioning. I am skeptical of what she is trying to do. What she is trying to do. I am skeptical of what she is trying to do. It means I just don't really know. I don't trust. I don't trust it. Questioning. Okay. And we, what else do we have? Keeping secrets. To keep a secret means to not tell a secret. To keep a secret. My best friend keeps all my secrets. Doesn't tell anyone. He doesn't tell anyone. From what I could tell, from what I could tell, it's essentially like what I understood, what I understood, from what I could tell, what I understood. From what she could tell, her dog was very sick. From what she could tell, her dog was very sick. Okay. Keeping secrets. From what I could tell, revealed. Revealed. Reveal simply means to show. She revealed revealed her new dress at the Party I means she showed her dress at the party. She revealed her new dress. All right, and pulled up in, pulled up in, drove up in. We pulled up in a brand new Mercedes. We pulled up in a brand new Mercedes. So drove up and pulled in. Has the same meaning. So we pulled up in a brand new Mercedes. Okay. So have you ever surprised someone on his or her birthday? Have you ever? Have you ever surprised someone on his? or her birthday and how would you answer that have you ever surprised someone on his or her birthday how would you answer that yes I have I surprised my grandmother or no I have never surprised someone. Another way you could say that is no, I have never surprised anyone is actually better. I have never surprised anyone. Have you I have never surprised someone. Good. Okay. And uh that is the end. I hope you learned some new expressions. See you next time. Goodbye.